Hi, if you've clicked on this video, you're probably interested in a visual perspective of Annie's Woolen's short row heel and toe instructions um, because I think there's been a little confusion about how I define yarn over. And so I've had a lot of questions and I'd like to contribute a video. So, um, we are, for instruction purposes, I've not knit a whole stocking. I am concentrating on the short row heel stitches, which I have started here in gray. And we started with 26. If you follow your instructions, row two says with purl side facing, uh, purl yarn over and purl across the row. So we have already done that. Um, we started with 26 stitches, we did a yarn over. So now, as we have the knit side facing, we have 27 stitches that we're working with. So we're going to do row three of our instructions, and this is for all of our regular Christmas stocking knitting patterns. So row three says, with knit side facing, yarn over, knit 24 stitches, and leave two stitches remaining unworked. So, in order to, to accomplish the yarn over with the knit side facing, we're going to bring the yarn toward the front, wrap it around the tip of the right needle, and knit the first stitch of the row. And what you will find is you have kind of join stitches. This is the wrap or the yarn over part and this is the first stitch of the row. And they look like they're kind of a pair. Then our row three instructions say knit 24 stitches. One, two, three, four, five, Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Here's my center back marker. I like to keep it in. Thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen. 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. And that leaves two stitches on my left needle unworked. Now we will turn our work. We have the purl side facing, and we're going to start with a yarn over. This is row four. Uh, it says yarn over, purl 23, leaving two stitches unworked. So with the purl side facing, the way to do a yarn over is to bring the yarn toward the back, wrap it around the tip of the right needle, and use that yarn to purl the first stitch. And now you have another joined or kind of pair of stitches that are locked together here. Then it says knit 23. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, center back marker. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23. And that leaves again two stitches unworked before we go back the other way. Um, and you will continue like this through row 18. Then we come to um, 
first decrease row and second decrease rows. These are transition rows. It may seem like you're increasing, it may seem like you're de decreasing, um, you're doing neither. It softens the edge of the heel, so it's not a sharp looking heel. And then you begin your decrease rows. Um, one tip that I might add so that you don't have large holes in your work is always to have the number of stitches unworked um, that are recommended on the pattern. Uh, the other tip I might add is when you are wrapping the yarn over the right needle, for example, we're going, we have the knit side facing, so we bring the yarn forward, we wrap it over the top, and we knit the first stitch. I would wrap this over the needle a little bit tighter than you're knitting and do this throughout the whole heel and toe process. I hope you've enjoyed this. I hope this offers some help to you who've been confused maybe by the math, but the math works as long as you follow the instructions. Thank you.